Okay, Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. So, our topic today is solve polynomial equation by using fixed point iteration method. Okay, so for example, we have this polynomial equation x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2 equals to 0 and given that the initial value of x is equals to 1 and we have to give the answer in 3 decimal places. Okay, so first, we have to rewrite this polynomial equation in the form of x equals to fx. Okay, to find the approximate root or the approximate solution for this polynomial equation. Okay, so we have x cubed. Okay, x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2 equals to 0. So first, we move or we transfer x cubed and negative 2 to the right side. So we have 3x squared equals to 2 minus x cubed. And then 3, we transfer 3 to the right side. So we have x squared equals to 2 minus x cubed divided by 3. And then for x, we transfer square to the right side. So we have square root of 2 minus x cubed divided by 3. So this is our fx. Okay. x equals to fx. So x equals to fx. Therefore, our fx is... So, this is our fx. fx equals to square root of 2 minus x cubed divided by 3. Okay. And then, given that the initial value of x is 1. Okay. x1 is equals to 1. So, we have we must substitute the value of x1 into this equation. Okay. Into this function. So, we can write like this. Okay. So, for x1 equals to 1. Okay, we substitute x1 equals to 1 into this function. So, we have x, sorry, we have fx or f1 equals to 2 minus 1 cubed divided by 3. And then square the answer. Okay, so if we calculate manually, okay, we press 2 minus 1 cubed divide by 3 and then square root the answer so we get 0 0.577 so 0 0.577 is our x2 ok x1 is 1 so this is our x2 F1 is our X2. So next, for X2 equals to 0 0.577. Okay. So again, we substitute the value of Fx. Eh, sorry, the value of X, 0 0.577 into the function of X. So... We get 2 minus 0 0.577 cube divided by 3 and then we square root the answer. So, 2 minus 0 0.577 cube divided by 3 and then square root the answer. So, we have 0 0.776. So, this is our x3. Okay. And then, we repeat the same process for the next x. Okay. 
Okay, we substitute into the function. Okay, we can calculate manually like this. Or we can directly substitute the function into the calculator. So, we have square root. Okay, square root of. So, we open the bracket for the function inside the square root. Okay, and then for the numerator, we open the bracket. And then we have 2 minus x cubed. And then close the bracket. So, 2 minus x cubed is the numerator. Okay, and then divide by 3. Okay, and then close the bracket. Open, close. Open the bracket, close the bracket. Okay, so we press calculate. And then we substitute value of x. So, if we start from x1, so we substitute x equals to 1. So, we get 0 0.577. Okay, and then for x2, we calculate. We press calculate and then substitute x to 0 0.577. So we get 0 0.776. And this is our x3. Okay, now for x3 equals to 0 0.776. Okay, we can substitute directly into the calculator. So we just press calculate 0 0.776. So we have... 0 0.715 Okay, correct to 3 decimal places So 0 0.715 Okay, so this is X4 So For X4 equals to 0 0.715 So we have calculate 0 0.715, 0 0.738, okay, so this is x5, okay, we repeat the same process with the next x, so x5, 0 0.738, so fx is zero point seven two nine eight five two two zero six. So we round off to three decimal places. So we have zero point seven three zero. Okay. So this is x six. Okay, we continue the process. So, F for 0.370 is 0.733. Okay. So, this is X7. Okay, so for x7 equals to 0 0.733, the fx is 0 0.732. Okay, so this is x8. Okay. We substitute x equals to zero point seven three two. Okay, so calculate zero point seven three two, so we get zero point seven three two. Okay. 
so we can stop okay we can stop the process when we get the value of fx okay the value of fx here is the same value okay so for x7 0 0.733 the, uh, the fx is 0 0.732 okay and then for x8 0 0.732 the value of x the value of fx is also 0 0.732 so we can stop the process here okay therefore the approximate or the root okay so we can write like this the root for um, our question just now for x cube plus 3x square minus 2 equals to 0 is 0 0.732 okay so 0 0.732 is one of the root for this polynomial equation okay so we can check whether our answer is correct or not by using the calculator okay so we have x cube plus 3x square minus 2 equals to 0 so we can use the mode in the calculator okay we press mode three times one two three and then we take one for the equation okay and then we press button next because we don't want to find the unknowns okay so we, the degree here means the highest power in our equation okay so we have x cube the highest power in our equation is x cube so we press 3 so a is the coefficient or the number in front of x cube so we have 1 and then we press equal okay b is the number in front of x square so we have 3 and then we press equal c is the number in front of x power of 1 so we don't have value of x power of 1 here so we just put 0 equal and then d is the uh, coefficient for x power of 0 okay x power of 0 means uh, no x okay so we have negative 2 then equal so the answer or the roots for this polynomial equation are 0 0.732 for x1 and then x2 negative 2.732 and x3 is negative 1 so we okay from our calculation just now we got one of the one of the root for this polynomial equation which is 0 0.732 okay so 0 0.732 so our answer here is correct so that's all for topic of fixed point iteration method okay so thank you for listening and thank you for watching see you again in the next video thank you and assalamualaikum